down low, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Been a little while since I've done video. I want to say, I want to thank everyone to come out and watch the live stream last night. So tonight, we're gonna, today we're going to be showing off this, um, doing another mod review. I'm sorry. I'm going to be doing another mod review on this International 9800 Cab Over. Made by Cyrus the Virus. Let's get going. Let's go, Ray. The engine sound is still just a little bit loud, I believe. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Just so we're not too loud. That's a little bit better, I believe. So we got some used packages from Walmart. We are in Las Vegas, so we're heading to Kingman. Check out this uh, truck. Well, like I said, one thing I want to come out and watch the live stream. So the day the truck's running Cummins in 14, 400, 450 horsepower with a 15 speed uh, eating full transmission. Get a thumbnail we get on the road Turn here. But I want to thank everyone to come out and watch the stream. Hope you enjoyed. It's a little bit different. Uh, I don't use modded trucks too much, but I'm going to be bringing it back to where uh, we'll be doing a modded truck once a week. I just had a lot going on right now, guys, so. truck is pretty good. Um, it's uh, been, been approved a lot since uh, the, la the latest the last one that I used of Cyrus uh, the Virus.
Creech bomb engine sounds. It only has like four engines. Uh, it, it is. It does need a little bit of work in that department for engine support. do that right now we'll have to make it daylight so we can see uh, let's see we just, they've changed all of this now nah, see we need to make it I need I need it to be daylight Focus. I like that. I think that looks pretty good there. Light, so. Let's, um. Up just a little bit. I want to turn it just a little bit too and take another picture here like this right here. Like that. Come on. It's been a little stubborn. Again, a little bit closer. Try to get the trailer in too. There we go. That'll work.
let you guys hear that engine. Here's the Jake brake. That sound pretty good. I was hoping we'd get more of a daytime run, but this is a shorter run, so I had to kind of deal with it with this one. But I'll show you all the options for the truck. So guys, we're probably getting very close to Oklahoma release. It's probably going to release sometime next month. Um, SCS has been showing a lot of the um, scenery from Oklahoma. They've showed all, you know, all, all the towns, uh, the truck stops, uh, a lot of the landmarks. So normally when they start getting into doing that type of stuff, we're getting very close. Then we'll have Kansas after Oklahoma.
It was like that last night. Everyone we went by, we didn't have to go in, which was awesome. We may get there right by the daytime, so maybe we sit a little bit of the truck. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit more daylight now. See the truck's a little bit better. Using a Walmart trailer. This is Cyrus to Virus. It's a international 9800 cab over. get out here let's see right here oh we need to be in this way all right come on
they want it. They want it in that corner. They turn around here. One thing about these little cab overs, you get plenty of room to turn around. I want to get it started on the outside. At least you get to look at the truck. Now one thing I've noticed too in this version of, of ATS is you have to run your headlights during the day. I, I don't know if that's something that they added in 1.4.7 because if you don't run your headlights during the day, you'll get a ticket. But I mean, all states don't require that, so I, I don't know what their thinking is for that, but you know. Maybe it's the states that's in the game that's, that is required, but all states don't require that. I'm going to cut it a little sharp here. Too bad. Pull up right here. Back it up. There we go. So we drove extra, we drove 124 miles. It took us four hours and 40 minutes to get here. We seen 17 points, two gallons of fuel. All right, so I'm going to show you the truck. So, like I said, this is Cyrus the Virus, his international 9800 cab over. So you go to your uh, access your mod dealership. Go to International. It'll be right there in your mod dealership. Now it comes with two versions. It comes with a flat top. They call it a low cab, but you know, it is actually a flat top. It has a high roof. Two chassis. It has a six by four and a six by two. 6x4 gives you a little bit more heavy cargo access, which is kind of understandable. Engines, you only have four engines. You have a Detroit Diesel 60 Series 400. It says it's a V12, a 12.7 liter. Then you have a Cummins N14 430. 
All right, then you have another Detroit Diesel 60 Series of 555, 12.7 liter. Then you have a Cummins N14 475. That's the one we're using right now. 475 horsepower. It has 1,200 pounds of torque. RPMs around 1,420 for the RPMs. Engines, they have Eaton Fullers, RTs. 10 speeds, that's another Eaton Fuller. R R T RTO. There's another Eaton Fuller RT. Uh, Eaton Fuller RT. All right, there's the Eaton Fuller um, Duty. RT Duty. That's a 15 speed, 13 speed, another 15. That's a 10 speed retarder. A 15 speed retarder, a 10 speed. There's a 7 speed Allison transmission. That's a 10 speed Allison transmission. A TC 10. That one is an Allison 4700 R RDCR. Interior option is one. There's only one option for your interior. I don't think that changes any other. We could let me look at it real quick just to see if it changes. I don't think it does. No, same option. So, yeah. One interior option for the truck. I don't think they really came with a different interior option for these trucks. So that's kind of accurate. Uh, you have a ton of uh, color options here. Uh, and they all work. And one of them works. You see? They all, they're all, they all work like they're supposed to. Yeah. Every one of them works. Like this. You have your custom colors right here. This works. You move your slider. You see it move. That means it works. This is your options. This is a uh, roof line options where you basically what all this is going to do is give you options like put horns or whatever here. You can put a horn here like that. That's what that is. That's inside the cab. That's going to be for your exhaust. You can do a stock exhaust. Or you can do a exhaust. So two exhaust options. That's uh, one, one mirror. That's inside the cab. You have your front mirror right here. Your side mirror. That puts the little window, um, it puts the mirror right here by the window in the door. Chrome steps. You have your chrome fuel tank. You have three options of grills. You have the uh, grill chrome, grill black, and grill painted. You have a, t a bunch of bumpers. You have your custom chrome. Custom black. Now, I don't have. I don't think the truck come with the files for the lights. Now you may can find an add-on mod that may may work for that, but I must not have it. But you can add uh, like lights, your bumpers and stuff like that for the truck. So which is a real good option for the truck. So yeah, it comes with a chrome bumper, a black bumper, or another chrome bumper. Painted bumper, gray bumper, stock chrome, which doesn't look too bad as where you put the uh, fog lights in it, and a stock plastic. Right here would be your flags. You're going to do heavy hauls with it. Uh, tire, now, tire options are going to be a little bit different from my truck. Um, I, ha I do have, um, Biper did re put out his um, Akoa pack again, so I do have that installed. I have Smarties uh, pack, so my, some of my tire options are going to be a little bit different than Alcoa's from Viper's pack. So all this is, you know, standard uh, tires for ATS. Okay, let's see. Alright, you have your, uh, you can make that vent chrome. That's inside. That's, now it does have some skins, but with this color right here, you probably won't be able to see them. Well, that blue is not too, too bad. Yeah, red wouldn't look too bad. It has a little, like a bull on it there. 
Reverse lights for the backing up. Um, as far as the uh, rims go for the truck, like I said, I always use the Alcoas is what I use. They're, they're probably about the best looking rims that I've found. Those are not too bad. But I have all that. Inside the truck, yeah, it is, it is does support the wheel uh, DLC for the steering wheels. It doesn't have support for that. You can be a you can put a o, o I can't talk this morning. A OBS system, I mean OBC system. Sorry. Uh, it does have the cab uh, accessory pack support, so you have some little um, like an air freshener. But they put drinks here. Like this, put something like that. So all that, it, it, all that, uh, it does support all that. But a good-looking truck, it has really improved over time from uh, earlier versions of the truck. It has two CV options. It's really improved a lot. So, all right, guys, that's going to be we're going to wrap up the video today. I want to get ahead and do like a little mod review of this International 90 and a cab over from Sirens Device. Did a little Walmart run with the trailer. Now, I, I, I did that because these trucks were known back in the, like in the 90s, uh, late 90s into the 2000s. Walmart had a fleet of these trucks. These trucks, you know, I, I tried to find a texture, a skin for the truck, and I could not find one that would fit this one. There's uh, other ones out there that they would not fit this one, so... Um, but they they had a fleet of these trucks. These trucks was cheap, and they were they were dependable, and they lasted you know for a very long time you know. And they had a, a real big fleet of them. So that's kind of why I went with the Walmart run today. So thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone for subscribing to the channel. Everyone for coming out to the live streams. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And we'll see you in the next video.